Yeah, yeah. I, hey, I, my, I, hey, no. That's my Christmas present from 2022. God bless him. Oh, um. One more thing that I can that I can ask you about. Are these your fucking Mike and Ike's on this napkin here? No. Who the I, fuck? This, I, that's I, a... I, I, I always put mine in the cup. And I'll I... tell you right now. I run this warehouse. Wait, haven't you noticed when I go in, I like to shake the cup at you? Yeah, I have noticed that. <laughs> but this is this this is a fucking Nico move for sure. Laying fucking Mike and Ike's just out. Um, I'm listening. Well, what I find is really interesting. <laughs> I was going to put on the cobble wobble hat. Yeah, go on. Sorry. Um, it's really just interesting to me. Like one thing that I thought about when I came here today, the thing about like New New York, as far as hardcore goes, gets a lot more of the play in terms of in terms of like they do. I think in terms of like just it doesn't seem like a lot of orange. Ca like people aren't like like. Uniform choice doesn't seem like it's held like in the same no, regard no, no, no. as like judge. Here, here, here's the here's the truth. Here's but I was saying, I think trust being out here, even though you're oh, you're saying so, yeah, we're because we're, we're in Santa Ana, our headquarters, so like, like we're, we're I, champing I, I just, music. I think you help the California call. Well, that's you, good you to know. People, I, people think we're a little bit too California heavy, which I kind of agree with. But it's hard because you say New York, New York's hard, man. Like the records you'd want are Cro Mags, which right. is tough. You'd want Agnostic Front, but Roger and Vinny have that handled. They like it where it is. There's a couple other records, Leeway, Murphy's Law. I tried to get the band the Kraut, Kraut, which is a, but couldn't get it. And then the most of the rest of the stuff, Girl Business, Youth of Day, saw in Revelation, which is all, still around. So it's that's a hard scene to crack. And those are all like everything you just said. Those are like seminal records. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I mean the the East Coast is the East Coast for. A reason. Well, I think I think uh, I, don't, I mean reason. look, dude, music's I, I hate rating music because it's, it's taste. Like, you know what I mean? Right, like it's right, music. Right. Like it, like my favorite band is not gonna be your favorite band, exactly. and that doesn't mean either band sucks or is great. It's just how it's your taste. But I think like with Orange County, I think where Orange County crushes is at the beginning you have adolescent social distortion tsol di once again gateway those gateway. are those are like the adolescence blue record is an amazing record it's like a, like a top 20 record of all time yeah the hardcore shit that we come from the insteads and the courses approvals and you know whatever else i'm not outspoken. here to I'll, yeah, outspoken made it in a little different place with me but like a lot of the shit that we came up with it's a little bit copycatish. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I, I toured instead two U.S. tours. I love those dudes. Uh, you it, was, know, it was the second, third it, 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 There's nothing like that. Uniform Joy Scream for Change Records is a fucking classic, but it's not, you know, Southern Lord put it out, did a great job with that repackaging. But I think it's, you know, I don't think Pat Dubar really wants to be part of it. Like, I don't, I don't get that sense. Like, I, I looked at a... I looked at our text thread, you know, Pat Dubar and I have known each other since I was 13, 14. I've known him for, since 84. We're great friends, right? Looked at my text thread with him and I, you know, have his number. And I realized he hadn't responded to a text in like six years. <laughs> but you know, There's this like, he's texting, I'm like, oh, this is a one way Al, conversation. But wasn't Al from SSD kind of the same way? No, Al's, Al's just a weird, Al's a weird cat because he's such an enigma and he was so mysterious and he, you know, he just checked out of the whole scene and was a engineer GE, I think, GE or general manager, GE, for like 30 years, 35 minutes. He had a job. He has a wife and bought a house and kind of you know, like did some music, like a band called Gage in the 90s that's, you know, he did that. But like for the most part, it was just kind of his guy. He's a sports guy and never really participated in the Boston stuff. He's never gone. He doesn't, you know, part of my thing, part of me thinks he likes being hard hard to get so he likes to play hard to get with us dude we took years to build a friendship but i get it if if he had signed with us in 2020 when we first started talking he would have been really disappointed we would not have done a good job for him it took getting to know him over the last several years to go okay this is how this should be positioned. This is the kind of press we should do. This is the look Even we should do. Even more so than learning how to do a label and like pressing. Yeah, like like yeah, yeah. Learning so. his mannerisms and learning what he wants because a guy who hasn't put out a record in that long, like he doesn't, he has ideas. He's got a ton of ideas. Some are really great. Some aren't. Uh, 
but it's kind of like him almost like working out stuff with me. And we talk weekly. Every and he, we talk. We talk for an hour. I usually Were there a lot of talks with him where you thought this is gonna be the conversation he's gonna say yes. And it was just and it was just no, more talking or was No, because we would put together we put deals in front of him and then he'd come back and go like, eh, you're not getting it. And the deal, I'm not going to go on the deal points and the deal disclosure, but they were like, he had different ideas of, a, of what a deal should be. And we are kind of pretty, I don't say rigid, but we have a certain mission we're on. So we have to do things a certain way. That's hard to articulate to people sometimes. So like I said, it took a couple of years for us to get to a position. And then at the beginning of this year, we gave him a pretty good offer. And we're like, look, dude, we, we talked about it and we were right. I think our instincts were right on this, Matt and I, because we were like, this is a record we need. If we can get it, we need to go. If this is the line we've set, we need to be above that line and go get it. So I kind of came to him and said, that was our best offer. This is it. And he was like, okay. And then about a month later, he's like, I was having second thoughts. So we didn't really do it. I was like, you figure it out. And then uh, I think when he started hearing it took a while to remaster that record, but I think he got really excited on, you can go see that Trust Records restoration doc oh, to awesome. see to see that what really, those tapes that this record's based off. That's the real story of this whole thing is the corroded fucking tapes that our boy Dan Johnson over at Audio Archives like fucking fixed. They, everyone, they were unsalvageable.